All right. Uh, Eric, would please have a one word post holiday themed prompt? Post holiday? Well, I was going to say um, black goo sludge coming out of your mouth. I love it. Let's <laughs> do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. The Joker has nothing on Danny DeVito's Penguin. Danny DeVito's Penguin is the most unhinged Batman villain. End of story. Hard agree. I don't know. I think I think Mr. Freeze is pretty pretty unhinged. Personally. Why do you say Mr. Freeze? He wasn't in this movie. Wait. Hold on. Hold on one second. Hey, welcome to the Over Talking Podcast with your host Ken and CJ. Say hi, CJ. Hi, CJ. This is the show Ho Ho, where we talk over TV show Ho Ho's and movies as chosen by our guests. And this week we watched Batman and Robin. No, no, we oh. did not. Oh, fuck. Not again. <laughs> what did you watch? I watched the chosen movie by our guest, which is Batman Returns. Eric, is this true? <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear to God. So I, I see Batman and an R word. And I just assume Batman and Robin. I don't know why. Oh, my God. Uh, I have to apologize to our guest up top. I totally watched Batman and Robin, <laughs> not Batman Returns. This is not a bit. <laughs> this, is, this is for real. So this is going to be real interesting going forward here. Okay, to cut Ken some slack, I fully, until I pressed play, thought it was the one with Jim Carrey and Arnold Schwarzenegger and all of that stuff. That, and well, that's Jim Batman Carrey's- and Robin. Right? Well, Jim Carrey's not even in that one. They all oh, blend together, right? Like they- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is Poison Ivy in Batman? Yeah, Robin? It's, it's Poison oh, Ivy. Oh, that's and right. Arnold Schwarzenegger is Mr. Freeze. Mr. Yeah. Freeze. Who's, yeah, who's in Ivy uh, Batman Play- Returns? It's uh, the, the, the it's Catwoman and the Penguin. Catwoman and the Penguin. Okay. Yeah, penguin. I remember the Penguin. It's Selena Kyle's. It's both of their origin stories. Okay. Got it. Which are funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ken, it's the last episode of December. That's right. It's uh, the final episode of 2023's The War on Christmas. The War on Christmas. Ah! It's still just a little too long, but it's excellent. <laughs> Disagree. Uh, that's right. we're, we're, we're wrapping up with uh, kind of off the beaten path Christmas movies. Um, it's past Christmas. Hope everyone had a good uh, holiday if you celebrate. If not, that uh, happy winter and other holidays. <laughs> Happy uh, almost New Year. Yes. Happy almost New Year. Um, we can tease up front that next week we'll be doing our annual wrap-up episode. That's right. We'll be uh, talking about the, the top 10 favorite things that we watched uh, on the show. So, to But to that. be clear, it's our favorite things. We do not Correct. take the guests into account because no, it, always... the show is about us. So, yeah. And uh, who knows? This probably won't make the list because we watch different things. So that'll, that'll be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It, Sorry, sure, I don't ben. think it's going to make the list regardless. Uh, <laughs> Have you guys seen Batman and Robin? Yes. Well, okay. I thought I had, but now I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I definitely have, but probably not for over a decade yeah. or something well, like that. Well, that's same with me with Batman Returns. Like, I've seen it, but I don't remember it. So this will be fun. Uh, can't wait for the trivia portion. This is going to be really, really interesting. Um, I have a fighting chance. I think you might. And if you haven't caught on already, our our guest today is my brother, Eric. Hi, Eric. Oh, What's really? up? It's, it's Eric. What's up, Eric? What up? I'm so happy to be back, first of all. And also, just like, just the boys, the over-talking boys. I feel like the last, like, hundred times I've been here, like, Ken's gone, my weird cousins show up. Like, it's nice yeah. that this is just a nice, normal episode. Yeah. Nothing yeah. weird is going to happen. It's just the three boys. Nothing weird other than one of the guests, you know, watching the wrong movie. But other than that, it's <laughs> well, yeah, 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 of course. Uh, aside yeah, yeah. from well, that, I mean, aside from that. That's pretty normal, too, though. So Yeah, it's, Ken's done this a few times okay. now. <laughs> it seems to be a trend. Ken's becoming more and more dyslexic as he <laughs> grows. I, I don't understand it. It's, it's on our calendar invite. It's the only one in the list to choose it's from. It. I've, I looked at it several different times, <laughs> and nothing registered is wrong. I watched it super early, too, so if I had caught it, I could have watched the right movie, but <laughs> nope. How about right. maybe during break, you can watch the trailer or something like that, just to get a little glimpse of it. I, I know what I know what it is. It's fine. It'll be I okay. Just, I need you to see Danny DeVito's penguin have black goo in his mouth. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I, 
which they don't really explain at all. The movie opens with like him being born, and they're just like, "Yep, he's kind of a weird freak." Okay, moving on. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> well, that's what happens when penguins are born. They they're they a weird spit freak. Out this black fluid from their mouths. Yeah, everyone knows that. <laughs> they're using that charcoal toothpaste. That's right. <laughs> it's really big in the a South trend. Pole or wherever penguins are. That's all they can yeah. get. That's right. <laughs> Gotta brush their beaks somehow. Is is the penguin have like any actual biological penguin stuff? He has. He doesn't have fingers. He has like flippers oh, for hands. He wears like gloves that are just like two fingers, two thick fingers the entire movie. Which again, like, isn't really explained why. Yeah, again, they're just like. <laughs> And also, penguins. I'm pretty sure it's just one yeah. flipper. Yeah, no. Like it's not yeah, that's two. That's still not a thing. <laughs> he he eats a giant fish at one point in the movie. They like give okay. him a mackerel, and he eats it raw. And he's got like the biggest ass you've ever yes. seen in any movie. <laughs> he's very rotund. Yes, he's just a like egg shape. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like a penguin. <laughs> Which Batman is this even? Is this Michael Keaton or is Michael this Michael Keaton? Baby. Michael Keaton. Okay, Michael Keaton. Nice. Yeah. Which is the Batman that has Bat Dance? Is that Batman and Robin, the Prince no. song? Bat Bat Dance. Yeah. I thought it was this one, but maybe it is. Listeners, write in overtalkingpod at gmail dot com. Is that right? Overtalkingpod at gmail dot com. <laughs> write in. Does Bat Dance appear in the movie we watched for this episode? Oh, by Prince. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's from the original Batman soundtrack, so just 1989's Batman. Oh, okay. So the the previous movie, so the one you guys watched. Okay, listeners, and do the not three write in earlier from the one I watched. <laughs> God, I was watching this movie and I was like, God damn it, why is it Batman and Robin? Like, this is the worst one of all of them, and it's at the end of the quadrilogy, and I'm like, ah, oh, is yours Michael Keaton? No, it's uh, George Clooney. Oh, okay. Whoa, I yeah. forgot that he's Batman. Dang. Yeah. But it's still the same continuity. It's it's the fourth movie in the same universe of all these Batman movies. It's kind of gotcha. weird. Okay. I, I think I know the answer for Eric, but Ken, have you seen the Flash movie? No, it's on my list. I'm going to be watching okay. it soon. Eric, I is a safe no. I assume. Yeah. yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I hear only bad things, but I yeah. love multiversal. Yeah. Shit, so I'm going to watch it. I talked about it before. The CGI is trash because they're. You know, being treated like shit, the graphic artists. But oh yeah, yeah. Batman comes into play in multiverses and and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I won't, I won't spoil it, but there's so many Batmans now. A lot of Batmans. Yeah, Batman. Batmans. <laughs> Batmans. Batmans. Please, Batman. Okay, yes. And in this movie, they even sort of acknowledge they're like, "Are you called Batman or the Batman?" I think Selena Kyle says that at one point. Huh. And what did he answer? He he ran away. <laughs> it's like I don't I don't have time for this. <laughs> Like, oh, okay, okay, cool. See you later. Great. Thanks. Bye. Worth including in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I know we haven't officially dived in yet, but just because we have Selena Kyle, in the first like few minutes of the movie, when we're introduced, Selena Kyle, aka Catwoman, is a, a administrative assistant to Christopher Walken, which he was great in this movie. Max he Shrek. Ridiculous. Max Shrek, oh, yeah, nice. couldn't get over that he's a green monster in this movie. I uh, I have a note. Uh, hey, Max Shrek, are we talking about pop culture in the early two thousands? <laughs> Max Shrek, Maximum Cause Shrek. There's, cause there's so many movies because there was That's a lot right. of Shrek. There was a lot of Shrek. The musical. Too. All right, I got more. Don't worry, don't worry. All right, what else? What else? <laughs> so Lita Kyle makes a mistake in this like boardroom, and she says she's mad at herself for making some weird comment and she says you stupid corn dog oh you <laughs> corn dog she keeps calling herself a corn dog it's a weird choice <laughs> i like it i want to adopt that i'm such a corn dog for watching the wrong movie <laughs> corn dog move was this a ra- movie like rated pg <laughs> pg-13 pg-13 1992 13 yeah, I was also shocked to see it's just over two hours long, too. Too long. Yeah, it was too long. I'll tell you what, that was the same for Batman and Robin. <laughs> on both on both counts. <laughs> also too long. Also too long and also PG I felt like it could have been PG though. Man, that movie sucked. It was so bad. It I 
I have some, because I was doing the trivia for it, and we'll get to that in a second, which should be awesome considering <laughs> you watched it. But the producers of that movie kept telling the director to toyify it more so oh, that they God. could like sell, sell more toys and merch after Yeesh. the fact, which totally makes sense. I totally remember they're like being Mr. Freeze. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. And but apparently one actor said before every shot, the director would yell out, Okay, everyone, don't forget, this was a cartoon. All right, action. <laughs> what? <laughs> and it shows. It's so awful. Really not good. That's so weird. <laughs> yeah. Bad directing. <laughs> yeah. Although he directed the previous movie, uh, which was the one with Val Kilmer. I don't remember what it was called. Batman Forever, I think. That sounds Yeah, right. Batman Forever. Yeah. Guys, I've been sick all week. Aw. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> Oh, oh, feeling, CJ, jeez, <laughs> feeling God terrible. Damn it. Why'd you move the mic to your butt when you did that? <laughs> so I think actually, uh, if you guys don't mind, uh, <clears throat> I'm I'm gonna head out. Uh, what? All right. I mean this this episode's fucked anyway because I I messed it up. So it'll be it'll be fine. Um, but I'll leave you with another Catman quote. Um, life's a bitch, and so am I. Okay, bye. I wrote that one down too. <laughs> oh, okay. He left. Okay, he's gone. Uh. Well, Eric, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll try to regroup from here <laughs> right after the break. We'll be right back. Cool. And CJ will be back, and everything will be normal. All right. I see you on the other side. I hope so. Bye. I've been down here too long. It's time for me to ascend. From the sewers of Gotham, a new villain emerges. From the rooftops of Gotham, the perfect enemy comes to life. I am Catwoman. Hear me roar. And the only one who can save this city is a creature of the night. And we're back on the Over Talking Podcast, joined once again by longtime returning guest, Brother Eric. What up? And uh, CJ's not back yet. <sighs> so, oh, oh, what's that? Do you hear that, Ken? Yeah. It's like sleigh bells. Sleigh bells. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Santa? Happy holidays! Uh, it's this motherfucker. <laughs> Have you run into him before? Santa, what's up? Happy holidays! Hi, uh, hi. Why Why are you here? I'm a big fan of the show. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Ken, that's nice to hear. I'm that's one of so the millions nice. of listeners. One of uh, some number. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> millions. If you want to think that, that's great. Uh, where's CJ? Uh, he he sort of gave me a heads up that uh, he wasn't feeling ill. He was feeling pretty ill and wanted me to uh, step in to see if I was free. Are you guys pretty tight? We text. You text. Okay. Also, my special red phone. Of course, of course. It's so nice. <laughs> Take it over. <laughs> it's so nice Very to hear much. Santa's classic, classic phrase: "Happy holidays." <laughs> yeah, happy holidays. <laughs> Listen. Santa's inclusive. I love no it. No judgment right? here. I love That's it. Great. You celebrate whatever you want. No cap. <laughs> no cap. How come you don't bring uh, the Jewish people uh, presents? I bring presents to people who believe in me. Huh. If you believe okay. in me, I'll, you'll get presents. But but I I didn't get any presents from you. Something tells me you don't believe in me. Oh, shit. He's got me. Well, it's hard not to now. I mean, it's That's undeniable. Right. Maybe next year. Maybe if you're on the nice list. Oh, oh, so there's multiple stipulations into getting gifts here. Yeah, surely you know the lore about me. You have to be on the nice list. <laughs> this isn't news to anyone. Huh. All right. Okay. So I have to believe you have to be on the nice list. We're in the post. This is post Christmas. So you're kind of just like chilling, right? Is that why you're chilling? Chillaxing, free? baby. Work is done. Yeah. How'd it go? Went great per usual. I'm kind of a pro at this thing. I've been doing it for hundreds of years. How long, actually? Yeah, that's a good question. Ooh, I don't really like to think about that. A uh, couple two tree centuries. <laughs> Coke invented Santa in uh, 1947. No? Google it. <laughs> I've been around, I think, since like the third or fourth century. Okay. I forget. But it's been so long. That's got to be way too far back, but okay. Google it, baby. Um, okay. I'm an OG. <laughs> Do you maintain your own Wikipedia page? I don't, but... Hey, actually, now that you bring this up, 
Do you guys know what my wife's name is? Sandra? <laughs> no. That's a really good guess. <laughs> my point is, go to Mrs. Claus's Wikipedia page. You assholes have not given her a first name. This is some bullshit. Her name is Janet. <laughs> Show her some Janet. goddamn respect. Janet well, Claus. This is true. Her Wikipedia page does not mention her first name. And I think that's a patriarchal bullshit. <laughs> you should submit a uh, update request. I don't have time. Okay. <laughs> is, is, her, on your behalf. is her last name Claus or is it Kringle? Claus. Oh, that's she a good took question. my name. Okay. Where did, where did the Kringle come from? Yeah, who's Chris? That's kind of a nickname. It kind of happens when you're an immortal being and have been around for multiple centuries. Okay. You can, like shift identities? Is that kind of... It's, it's a nickname people have given me. I, I never said, hey, my name is Chris. It's kind of okay. like when your name's like David and you go to college and you're like, you know what? Maybe like this is a new me. I'm going to go by Dave now. I'm yeah. Schmidt now. <laughs> <laughs> like that? Is yeah. That you did mean? you ever, did you yeah, ever try absolutely. out Schmidt? No. Santa, I didn't need a nickname. Santa's a pretty unique name. Nobody else really, you know, stepping on my toes there. That's true, but Schmidt Claus. Yeah, it kind of rolls off the tongue there. Yeah, super catchy. Schmidt Claus. Do you think this is maybe a good opportunity to rebrand yourself? I think I have probably the best brand on earth, so no. I don't know. That's not what I see on Google here. <laughs> what are you looking at at Google? It says, Can't uh, remember. Coke, Coke, Coke invented you in 1947. You're, <laughs> you're trying to be on the nice list, so be careful what you're Googling. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Santa... It's actually great that you're here. I've been wondering for a really long time because someone that we are, dare I say, fond of on this show is mm -hmm. a little guy named Krampus. Do you, ah. Are you friends with Krampus? What's your, what's your relationship with Krampus? Friends is maybe a strong word. I, I sort of am aware of him. He is aware of me. We don't really go to the same parties, if you know what I mean. Hmm. We kind of have our separate hmm. circles. Okay. He, he seems kind of mean. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't like get in your way or anything. He's kind of curmudgeon-y, if you couldn't yeah. tell. The name, I feel like, gives it away. The clanking chains. Yeah. yeah. The stealing of children. So, Santa, did CJ brief you on what this episode is about? What random yes, movie watched... did you watch? <laughs> yeah, which Batman movie did you watch? I watched the correct one because I'm not a fool. I watched Batman Returns. <laughs> it seems like you're already kind of up on what, what happened here. Ken's on the naughty list. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, so I, I am curious because, again, I watched Batman and Robin, and while there surprisingly was a little bit of Christmas in it, overall, it didn't feel like this was should have been on the Christmas movie list, and then I was like, well, it makes sense now, at least. But uh, Yeah, because Batman Returns starts with them in front of a gigantic Christmas tree, so it's okay, very on brand. Okay. They showed Rudolph on the TV for a little bit, and then also the Iceman is in it. So <laughs> that, that, that was where I thought Who's it was the Iceman? Are we talking X-Men? Bobby? Yeah. No. Bobby? Have you seen Batman and Robin? Where are my fellow X-Men heads at? <laughs> Iceman's name Bobby. is Bobby. It's literally Bobby. He's an Omega-level mutant. You guys all know this, right? Uh, is is that the guy that sprays an ice like road in front of him as he flies around? Uh, yes. Hmm. But he can do more than that. The Iceman does that too, though. Who is this Iceman? Are you talking about Mr. Freeze? We're talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's <laughs> yeah, also he's not Iceman. He's Mr. Freeze. <laughs> he's Mr. Freeze. He's not yeah. Freeze. <laughs> I know him as Iceman. Do you have any one-liners? I feel like that was his only lines yeah, in that no, movie. Literally, I wrote down only two notes about that movie, and it was li one was literally everything Arnold says is a one-liner. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's in the movie. That's kind of his thing. I think he literally said freeze like five <laughs> different times. <laughs> like, does he say there's a room? At some point, does he say like, you all need to cool off? Yes, he does. Absolutely. Anything you could think of is in the movie and yeah. he's saying it. I why spied else? on the writer's room a little bit. Oh, <laughs> okay. Is that something you, have, you do? You have time to, to do that's very specific thing <laughs> to, to have done. <laughs> Yeah, I got some free time. I have a whole a workload of elves. They're kind of put in the real work. I go around and make the deliveries, but like I'm kind of just making sure things on track. You just show up one day a year. Maybe no, there's some, training some involved. Balls. I got to stay in shape. 
Make sure my magic <laughs> levels are appropriate. You guys have all seen the movie Santa Claus, right? They got some of that, right? Yes. In fact, I've been watching uh, the Santa Clauses on Disney Plus too. Uh, what was that? On Disney Plus. On Disney Plus. That's right. Yeah. Is that you or is that uh, just an adaptation? No, that show sucks. The movie was better. They Eric, made a you know show. This? I'm so out of the loop on this. Do you know yeah, the show? Yeah, they made a show, and we covered season one on the show. Season two is 100 percent not worth your time. Oh no! I'll say that it is struggle bus. But season one actually was kind of good. <laughs> Surprisingly, still with Tim Allen. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and his his like real life daughter is his daughter in the show, which is interesting. Hmm. Weird choice. Yeah. So are we going to do like the 30 second thing or? All right, fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We All never right. did that. <laughs> no, we didn't. Santa. Kind of feel like you seconds. need the summary, right? Because you watched the wrong I movie. I sure do. Santa, we're going to put 30 seconds on the clock. You know what? Let's make it 45 because I need extra <laughs> details uh, for you to describe for someone who has not yet seen. I've Batman got the guest. Eric is doing this. No, you're the guest now. You're the guest now. <laughs> hey, look at me. I'm the guest now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Eric's literally hosted this show before, so <laughs> oh, that's you're right. the guest now. Anyway, do it. T- tell us what it's about. Ready right, to go. To myself? Yes, go. <laughs> All right, we fade in. Gotham City. Night. Exterior. Christmas. The place, I think it's like Ravenscroft or something. That Cobble building is called the Much Freaks. Much faster than this Santa. <laughs> Cobblepot. Uh, Hufflepuff? <laughs> Cobblepot. The Gryffindor house where all the people are hanging out. Uh, the penguin is born. He's trapped in a cage. Pee Wee Herman's he, there. He eats an animal, I think, while he's a caged baby. Uh, they throw him down a river um, and abandon their child. And then smash cut to 30 years later, I think it says, or something like that. 33, 33 years, years later. later, yeah. Yeah, Ken, how does it feel to be older than the penguin in this movie? <laughs> Oof. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty rough. That's a real eye opener. (laughs) The Penguin canonically is 33 years old in this. Isn't that absurd? That's really hurtful. As a 31 Uh, year old, that makes sense to me. That's what they all look like to me. That's what you think you'll look like in a couple of years? (laughs) Nah. You're going to be young forever. (laughs) Yep. Uh, Selena Kyle is Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken is the mayor. Uh, Selena Kyle's his uh, admin assistant. At one point, Christopher Walken tries to kill Selena Kyle, pushes her out a window. That's sort of her origin story. Cats lick her and bring her back, back to life somehow. Uh, as as that happens, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and that turns her into the Catwoman. She now has nine lives. She stitches her own latex costume, finds a whip somewhere, and then she's nice. out for justice. Nice. And the Penguin's circus crew. Didn't know the Penguin teams up with circus people. I didn't remember that part <laughs> or why so that's a thing. I was so confused about that. I th- I'm, that sounds familiar from like the cartoon show. Like I think that happened there. Seems weird. I don't know why though. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Penguin lives in the basement of like a zoo. Uh, okay, well, specifically sense. a cold zoo. I heard the Iceman uh, keeps it cool. There's no Iceman. <laughs> Ken, you're getting your own movie wrong. You watched the doesn't wrong matter. movie and can't even get that straight. Doesn't matter. Uh, I think we're way over 45 seconds, but I appreciated the extra detail. Does hilarity ensue or not? No. <laughs> oh. Uh, really? No. Uh, <laughs> hilarity ensues in Batman and Robin. I guarantee you would enjoy that part, at least. From Mr. Freeze. Yeah, his one-liners are killer. Yeah. Literally. Absolutely. He says them before killing people. <laughs> Does he freeze anybody and then, like, kick them over so all their body parts get smashed into a million pieces? No, everyone he freezes, there's some weird in-movie logic where they have just under, quote-unquote, just under 11 minutes to unfreeze them before they die. Why 11 minutes? Makes no sense. I have no idea. Huh. I gotta see it this movie. It happens multiple times, and they say that every time. Oh, we have just under 11 minutes to unfreeze them. That seems like a weird choice. Do they get into the whole thing about him trying to save his wife, and that's his motivation? Yes, that's it. Okay. Exactly. Have you guys been watching Harley Quinn on Max? <laughs> <laughs> they get into all of this. Big fan Santa? They? It's pretty good. The Iceman's in that? <laughs> Mr. Freeze is in that, yes. Huh. Does Schwarzenegger voice it? <sighs> this guy really does not want to be on the next <laughs> He does not voice that, but it's filled with a lot of famous people. They're pretty funny. Oh. Who does Harley Quinn? Uh, the person from Big Bang, Kelly Cuoco or, or whoever. 
Hmm. Wasn't I don't think I know who that is. Wasn't Lady the main Gaga woman from Big Bang the neighbor? Oh, okay. The the daughter of the Priceline guy. Yeah. <laughs> In the Priceline universe, yes. <laughs> Thank you. you got Andy Daly voicing people. James Adomian voices uh, Bane. Oh, it's a cartoon. Yeah, it's animated. Hmm. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it's good. I think you might have lost Eric. <laughs> It wasn't it's Lady good. Gaga supposed to be Harley Quinn and something? Oh, I think oh, in yeah. the the new Joker movies. Oh, right, they're doing those uh, in Joaquin's. Has that happened already, or is that in like? I think they're filming whatever follow up is okay. Okay, Joker Two: The Jokening. I think <laughs> it's in that one. Joker Two. Here we go again. Joker oh, Two. <laughs> who's Who's laughing now? <laughs> oh, so the the clown henchman in this. It's yeah. so confusing because that's a Joker thing. But the Joker yeah, is not in right. this movie. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the connection between the Penguin and circus people. Yeah, was this, was this before or after the Joker one? No idea. Yeah, good There's question. No way to find out. <laughs> I, I hope it's before. I think they do actually. I think it's mention, after. Actually, I think, I think the Joker one's the first one. I think they do mention some backstory with the Penguin that he was like in the yeah, circus the or something, or like they took, they found him. And took pity on him or something like that. I wonder if they just had like extra clowns around from the first movie. <laughs> and they're like, well, I mean, just because the Joker's behind bars, we didn't get all the clowns. So we got to use our clown budget or else we lose it. <laughs> hey, you guys yeah. want to stick around for a little bit? <laughs> we're just going to film this other movie really quick. Yeah. Yeah. Weird, be- weird choice. Um, <laughs> and then the penguin runs for mayor, <laughs> even though one's already been elected and they say that. That it's like December and elections <laughs> happen in November, and they acknowledge that, but they're like, "Nah, it's fine." They're like, "We'll oh. just get him recalled." It happens all the time. <laughs> yeah, That's any very challenger can thing. run for mayor at any point. <laughs> yep. No set elections. It's okay. I will say that the I don't know if it's like a, a department store, like a corporation that like cat face logo that's everywhere, like on all the buildings and stuff. That when I saw that was like. That's like was ingrained in my brain somewhere, and then the yeah. same thing with the mayor posters, like the font and the colors, and like I just like seeing those posters was like, oh whoa, I remember those. I don't know why. So this, weird. yeah, this movie had a weird impact on me. I guess it came out the same year I was born. Brag. That's I feel like that's a wow. theme now. This is the second or third movie I've done that came out in 1992, right? Weird. You started watching movies early, huh? Yeah, right away. So right away. The 90s were crazy, am I right, fellas? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, speaking of, it was very depressing to hear the Penguin mention global warming. I know that was a <laughs> thing. I know that's been a thing for a long time, but like, man, we've been yeah, talking about this me. since 92, huh? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, how's the North Pole doing up there? Yeah, how I'm you losing doing some there? of my land. Uh-oh. Paid good money for it. I don't... Do think you, that's the main concern. <laughs> it is for me. In your property taxes because of the melting of the ice cap. I don't pay taxes. I answer to no <laughs> man. Of course you don't. Santa. Of course you don't. I'm immortal. What are they going to do? That you look like a tax dodger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm a boomer. <laughs> so you were invented in 1947. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, gotcha. I was around. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> Naughty list. <laughs> Boom busted. <laughs> but enough about me. We should talk about the movie. I don't like being the Santa of attention. No, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, do you guys want to struggle through some Batman and Robin trivia? Can't wait. I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's time for... Hey, did you do that? That's right. For new listeners, this is the trivia portion of our show where we pit our guest and our other guest against each other to see who knows the most about what we watched. Eric, Santa, are you two ready? Born ready. Hell yeah, baby. All right. Santa, watch your mouth. <laughs> yeah. I'm a You're mortal. On. I'm alone. You're be on the naughty list. First question. This movie had Batgirl in it, in case you didn't know. No, it didn't. Oh, your movie. My, my, yes, my movie. Again, not the movie in the title of the show, but the one we're doing the trivia on is Batman and Robin. Most of the Batgirl scenes were cut from the movie, though. Why? <laughs> this is multiple choice. So there's a possibility you could get it, the answer. Was it A, her acting was so bad? More like bad girl. Was it girl. B, oh, 
Hi oh Please keep going. Was it B? She gained some weight during production. God, I hope so it's not that one. Fat, Yeesh. That'd be fat, fat girl then, right? <laughs> That's good. With the theme. <laughs> um, was it C? She couldn't remember her lines. Or was it D? Some of her ad lib puns were racially insensitive. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> I I'm gonna guess D because I hope that Ken didn't come up with that one. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, I mean it's probably that, but I'll go with the acting was so bad. Nope, to both of those. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I don't want to answer. I- yeah, I it's not the last one. Sorry, I thought it'd be funny. Um, oh, that's very funny. It, it was because she gained weight during production. Jeez, no, that's they terrible. Had to, they had to retool her bat suit because she had put on a few pounds during production, and uh, it didn't it didn't look right apparently. So they ended up cutting the scenes. But once that came out, the press like crucified her and like shamed her and stuff. And the director stood up for her and was like, "Hey, you know, everyone, she's puts a on human being. That's what happens. She's Jeez. a human being. Like." It's okay. I mean, we had to cut the scenes with it. You know, this is, it's fine. Yeah. Anyway. Well, that's good, at least. Yeah. yeah. If you couldn't tell, Santa's very body positive. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Santa. Okay, okay, that's good. You're very inclusive. Yeah, I thought you might fall for the pun one because there were a lot of puns in this movie <laughs> if you had seen it. So, anyway, glad someone still fell for it. All right, next question. Um, this should be real fun because I don't think you really know many people who are even in this movie, but which actor or actress in this film has been known to refund people who have seen it? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> Seeing as I can only name two actors in this movie, <laughs> I will say George Clooney because the guy is rich. And Ken, I want to remind you: if you don't give me these points, you will be on the naughty list. Ah, uh, don't. <laughs> you, you've hinted strongly that I'm already on it. So, <laughs> well, there's a chance. All right, we'll see. Eric, Santa, stop. Win fair and square. Don't don't play these <laughs> dirty games. I need to win. <laughs> well, I will guess the only other person I know who is in this movie, which is Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> oh, Santa gets the point because I want to be on the nice list. Uh, uh, yes. Is it actually yeah, real? You were right. I was right. Accurate. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, Santa was right. Sorry, the total whiplash. Yes, it was George Clooney. Damn it. Uh, who had said that? He really regretted being in this movie, even though it kind of helped break him out of just TV er them, but wow. Um, yeah. Ungrateful bastard. Agreed. Uh, just another fun fact. He showed up on the set of ER in full, uh, Batman regalia <laughs> just to visit people. That's funny. Yeah. It seemed to really not have a fun time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. I'm next you, question. I think, uh, Santa, you, you in the lead with one point. I'm going to keep track. Cause usually CJ That's does that. Right. Um, how many ice puns does Mr. Freeze, <laughs> Uh, Ooh, X-Men. baby. Say during this cinematic masterpiece. <laughs> Those are somebody else's words, right? Not yours. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Probably like a, a solid 12. Okay. And remember. <laughs> well, it depends on what Eric says. It, I have to think he doesn't have that many lines in the movie overall. I think those are his only lines. Yeah, so I'm going to guess like eight. Santa, I want to be on that nice list, so you get the point. Yes. Damn it. How many was it? 27. Oh, my God. <laughs> he has a lot of lines in this movie. Oh, Incredible. Damn. Yeah. There's got to be a super cut of that on YouTube. I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tonight's forecast. A freeze is coming. Allow me to break the ice. You are not sending me to the cooler. Freeze well. What killed the dinosaurs? Guys, hey! Stay cool, bird boy. Let's kick some ice. Um, all right, next question. This is one that is pretty open for not having seen the movie, so... Great. Uh, this is the second Batman film where the main villain, in this case Mr. Freeze, is billed over Batman, meaning Arnold Schwarzenegger had higher billing than George Clooney in this hmm. film. In what other film did this also occur? Where... A villain had higher billing than whoever played Batman. Jim Carrey, I think, was pretty big when he did that. I'll say that one, whichever one that was. The Jim Carrey Batman. (laughs) Did we? Yeah, did we ever? That's Batman Forever. That would be the one after the one you guys watch. Okay. But but the one before, the one I watch. (laughs) I'm I'm so confused. (laughs) I know the timeline's crazy. But with a a third. And when does Tokyo Drift happen? (laughs) 
we have to go back in time, but also it was That's all right. uh, mirage, so okay. it didn't really happen at all. <laughs> this was all a dream in Batman, <laughs> Bat Boy's brain. <laughs> this podcast feels like a dream uh, <laughs> to me. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to take a big swing here and say uh, Paul Dano was above Robert Pattinson. <laughs> okay. In the Batman. Praying, in the Batman? Okay. Praying that was actually Paul Dano. I'm not sure. And Santa, did you say an answer? Yet? Jim Carrey's the Batman. Jim Carrey's the Batman. Okay, you're both wrong. It was the original 1989 Batman where Jack Nicholson had higher billing than Michael Keaton. Ah, mm, makes sense. The He's the Joker. Absolutely. He's the Joker now. Do you guys remember when the original Joker painted over his mustache instead of shaving it? <laughs> no. In Adam West's Batman? What? This is a true thing. <laughs> they asked him to shave his real-life mustache because the Joker does not have a mustache. He said no, so they just put white face paint over his mustache. What's up with... I don't even understand. How does that... Does that even hide it? No. because oh, he's, he's in all in white... <laughs> face yeah effectively okay white face yeah <laughs> racially insensitive if you ask me <laughs> somebody's someone in white face what's up with dc characters and having mustaches not shaving <laughs> them that seems to be a yeah. long-running pattern seriously <laughs> huh uh all right next question uh val kilmer was the previous batman in batman forever why did he not reprise his role in uh batman and robin he was made a better offer even though like all of the same actors are in it besides him. He had literally anything else to do. <laughs> uh, no. This should have been a multiple choice. Sorry. Um, yep. the, the director said he was really tough to work with, and he really did not like working with him. Really? So he ousted him. Yeah. Surprising. Yeah. Have either of you guys seen that Val Kilmer, I guess it's a documentary, but he was like known for like always kind of having a camera on him on sets and stuff. And so it's mm. a lot of like behind the scenes of... Maybe that's why the director was like, God, this guy's always filming all of our behind the scenes <laughs> stuff. I don't want him to come back. Maybe. You know, Val Kilmer's also the Iceman. That's right. You're right, Cat. He is. <laughs> that's right. It's up good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, Santa, I believe, is up two to zero, right? That's right, baby. Pretty sure that's right. Damn it. All right. Next question. Whoever just gets closest. How much does Mr. Freeze's suit weigh? Oh, God. oh, boy. Is this like canonically in the movie or actual? No, like it's actual <laughs> okay. rubber suit or whatever. And is this yeah. in pounds or kilos or what are pounds. we doing here? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes, of course, you're outside of the United States, uh, <laughs> even though canonically Coke is based in the U.S. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you think Saint, Saint Nick wasn't around before Coca-Cola? <laughs> I think your current visage was invented by Coca-Cola. False. It was okay. It was England. It's all that Charles Dickens and shit. Okay. What was the question? <laughs> yeah, I also <laughs> how much Mr. Freeze's how much did Mr. Freeze's rubble rubber suit weigh? What was what was uh Arnold Schwarzenegger lugging around during seventy two pounds. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> I'll guess forty pounds. Santa is scarily close to the correct answer. It was seventy five pounds. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. I mean, he can handle it. He's a professional bodybuilder. I guess. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Santa has a good eye for lugging things around and how That's heavy right. they are. So. That's nothing. <laughs> Batman, Batman's suit was 50 pounds, and then also his rubber cape was another 50 pounds. Oh, my God. Just the so, cape? Yeah. George Clooney was walking around with 100 pounds of rubber on him yeah why Jesus. make it out of rubber <laughs> yeah why does the cape else? need to be heavy that's not what capes oh, are it's supposed to be fabric it should be god the the other note besides arnold schwarzenegger only says one liners in this movie that i wrote down is at the beginning of batman and robin they just have close-ups of batman and robin's suits which you can tell are all rubber but they go straight from crotch to nip <laughs> and they have Fully realistic nipples on these oh, suits. Yeah, I, I don't know if that was yeah. the same in yours as well. No, no, no. that's just a George Clooney thing. Yeah. It was a weird it, choice. It is so weird. Yeah, I think they got so much backlash that they were like, we will never do this again. Because yes. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, why? Why are you? Anatomically why correct rubber suits. Yeah. It's so strange. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was weird too then when they give back a suit. No nips on that. <laughs> What's up with that? Not fair. Sexist. <laughs> 
Hashtag free the nip. <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, I think Santa's got this in the bag, but we'll have this one final question. In the bag. Or the sack? Yeah, what do you in call the sack. It? Yeah. In the sack? Okay. Do you guys talk about Mrs. Claus again? <laughs> Santa! Shelf in your sack? What is it? What is it? Um, <laughs> so crass. What is the Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> Tomato Meter score for Batman and Robin? Cool. So... No idea. <laughs> Haven't watched it. <laughs> we'll we'll circle back Just to Batman Returns. Dark. All I've yeah. heard about it is quick, how bad quick it shot in the dark. has been. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, the main guy going around town being like, "This sucks so bad, I will <laughs> refund everybody." <laughs> <laughs> Probably not great reviews. <laughs> this podcast. Uh, a a nice forty three percent. Forty three percent. Okay. Uh, Eric, I'll do like twenty seven. Yeah, that's that's closer. It's eleven percent. Oh wow, wow! <laughs> oh, it's a it's a hard hard splat. Oh no! You're getting like one seed on that splat score. Not even a <laughs> half of a tomato or anything. <laughs> no, yeah. We'll we'll circle back for more Rotten Tomatoes stuff. But Santa, you're definitely our winner. Congratulations! Boo! <laughs> ho ho ho! <laughs> Whoa! Just a rub it in my face. <laughs> okay, just for fun, I'm just going to tell you the audience score for Batman and Robin was 16. percent Yeesh. So it's uh, it was a bad movie, and I was angry watching it. All right, <laughs> next. <laughs> should, should have watched the right what one. Is the, yeah, I should have watched the right one because it's so because much better. <laughs> what is the Rotten Tomatoes to a meter score in percentage for Batman Returns? Uh, really quick, there's a scene where Catwoman is laying on the Penguin's bed, and the Penguin comes up and he says, "Just the pussy I'm looking for." Anyway, my <laughs> guess at the Roger Tomatoes score Ooh. is, yeah, pretty... just the pussy he's looking for. Is that what you said? Oh, okay. Looking for, <laughs> look, looking for. Okay. The Penguin right. is extremely horny in this movie. <laughs> he's just making grunting noises everywhere he goes. Uh, yeah, and did I mention the goo? Just like, <laughs> oh no, oh no. I think this is probably not getting. Better than that, but maybe still like a 51. Okay. I feel like it's higher. I'm going to say like 65. 81%. It's certified fresh. No. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Disagree. What? Yeah. You guys didn't like it as much? <laughs> it was fine, I guess. I there guess was, was a lot fine. of weird choices like that. Like, I, I felt physically ill when I heard the penguin say that line. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember that yeah, line, that's pretty, which that's pretty brutal. makes me think I blocked it out or hopefully I didn't hear it or something. At the start of the movie, you kind of are like, oh, right, Tim Burton has a whole vibe. I can get on board with this. Like, this is a cool looking movie. The characters look ridiculous, which is fun. Like Christopher Walken's character, again, people Google what he looks like. It's insane. He has the biggest eyebrows. Kind of like mine right now. <laughs> yeah, very bushy. Audience score is probably, oh, man. If the critics are, maybe it's more well liked. So seventy-one audience score. I'm gonna go lower. I will go sixty. Santa, you're killing it. Seventy-three percent. Whoa. Dang. Yeah. What do you mean, ho? Ho. I was so close. Well, I think it might be time for our own ratings then. You heard us debating. We know you've been waiting. So now it's time to. All right, uh, Santa, on a scale of 1 to 10, That's what would me. you rate Batman Returns for you? I didn't hate it. It was entertaining. Just some, just some weird choices. I think overall I felt fine afterwards. There's some, there's some fun scenes and cool parts. The Batmobile is cool. Uh, not as cool as Mr. Freeze. <laughs> uh, maybe like, I don't know, a, a, a 6? Six? Six, 6.3. <laughs> okay. That feels good. Yeah. It does uh, feel Eric. good. Um, I, I kind of, I got to kind of agree with Santa. I, it was fine. I, I had a really hard time paying attention to it, <laughs> which is never <laughs> a long. good sign. Um, before I give my rating, I had a couple notes uh, that didn't come up organically. Please. Uh, sharp-eared listeners will notice that there is a Wilhelm scream in the War on Christmas stinger. There is a Wilhelm scream in Batman Returns. <laughs> I loved that part. I laughed out loud. Yes, me too. <laughs> I'll tell you what. There's one in Batman and Robin. Good God. 
We got to get a Wilhelm scream count going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They just can't help themselves. I Yeah, that's always a fun Easter egg. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> um, uh, oh, I have uh, actually one more note. I had two. Do you guys know what my favorite dog is? Uh, Santa Paws. It's a ho ho hound dog. No. The Elvis special. <laughs> really bad. That sucks. Uh, I'm surprised that didn't come up organically. Really. <laughs> yeah, weird. <laughs> um, also, I had a note. Have either of you guys seen the movie Tusk? Yes. I have not. Because the penguin in this looks <laughs> a lot like oh, what ends up happening in that movie. Yeah, you're uh, right. In a very haunting way. So I did not like that. Huh. I said my joke, Max Shrek. Are we talking about popular culture in the early 2000s? <laughs> <laughs> um it. I uh I love the idea of a crowd enthusiastically showing up for a mayoral candidate and they hear him say one line about how he tricked the city and they all immediately turn on him. Um <laughs> thinking about that yep. happening in our current political climate was really cracking me up. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow, you said one bad thing. I will not stand for this. Um <laughs> That's funny. Okay, yeah, that's probably it. You know what? I did not like this movie, so I'm going to go lower than that. I'm going to go four out of ten. Okay. Okay. And for me, I didn't watch this movie, so I'm going to rate <laughs> Batman and Robin, which I gave a three because it's bad. <laughs> is is pretty bad. That's all. All right. Well, Santa, Eric, thank you both for, for joining me. Hey, my pleasure. Um, <laughs> I love this show. Great. You know, I'd really appreciate it, Santa, if you were to uh, give us a five-star review on uh, Apple Podcasts. It's already there. Magic. Oh, oh wow. Huh. That's crazy. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. It's so weird. You may need to refresh <laughs> or something. I'm sure it's an yeah, issue on your end. I tried yeah, that. I've, yeah, huh. I guess I'll, I'll figure it out Yeah, later. reboot. <laughs> Great. Um, well... If you like the show, please go on Apple Podcasts and rate and review. Or Spotify, you can rate. You can rate it there. Do Correct. that too. Yeah, Santa knows. Absolutely. Uh, Santa, I think you have like probably tracks on there of, of you, right? I'm credited. I, I don't know that those are actually me, but if people want to oh, you know, okay. toss me some cred. By all Just means. like the mall Santa thing? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I got enough Riz. They can you share it. Around. <laughs> Great. Okay, I've heard you say Riz and no cap. <laughs> that is cool. Are you, are you Gen Z? Says Santa Gen Alpha. Are you Boomer and Gen Z? <laughs> I am the Alpha and Omega generation. I've been around for centuries. Okay. Great. Great. Well, I guess not even Gen Z has to drink Coca Cola. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Over Talking Lovebirds are here to glare at me. T- uh, I already told you to rate and review, but uh, also spread the word and tell a friend about the show. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah, any any words of wisdom or plugs from either of you? Eric? Uh, Santa, I guess yeah, you're going to plug you next, think? next Christmas or what? I don't know. Mark your calendars, <laughs> December 25th, 2024. It's coming up. Hey, what is that? It's on the 25th next year. Yeah, what's year? that day again? December 25th, okay. 2024. 2024. 2024. Oh, I'm busy that day. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work, actually. Then you're not Ooh. getting presents. Your loss. <laughs> oh, I'm free. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. am, I the, am I on the nice list now? We'll see. Okay. We'll see. When will I know? There's a whole year to go. <laughs> huh. Is there any, like, website I can go to track my status? or? No, I'm old school. Paper and pen kind no. of guy. Okay. Eric, what do you got? <laughs> Uh, I got a whole lot of nothing. There's too much going on in the world right now. <laughs> okay. Any um, any New Year's resolutions from you? Uh, shoot, that's coming up, huh? Yeah. Well, days away. Uh, yeah. What day is that again? I I think I need to write that one down too. If I'm so not that? mistaken. It's the thirty first. Thirty first. Okay. Hmm. Just writing that down. Thirty first <laughs> of of this year. Of this year. This one, 20, yeah. I think there will be one next year too. You'll have to check. All right, we'll see. That's yeah. I'll have to check in then. There's yeah. I got. I already got. I got too many dates written down. <laughs> I'll check in later. Busy guy. Yeah. Um, I would say I think my New Year's resolutions are to go to the gym and eat healthy and spend less money. I I feel like I don't know if that 
if people have like thought to do that before. Huh. But I feel like that maybe this is a good time for me to kind of get myself in gear. I don't know. I just I I'm sort of like weird like that. I like to use the the turning of the new year to kind of make some positive changes in my life. Um. So yeah, I'll probably end up doing that. Interesting. Novel idea. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Me too. Same. I'm going to steal that. Me too. I'm doing that. Hey, that's cool. It's my thing now. Just give me credit. No. No? <laughs> no, it's my thing now. I stole it. I came up All with right. that. Sansa's being rude. We got to end it. <laughs> Thank you both for joining us. Sansa for filling in and CJ Stead. Eric for, for being here as always. And as we always say at the end of every episode. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Cool off. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. This episode of the Overtalking Podcast was produced by Ken and CJ, edited by CJ. This week's special guest was Brother Eric. Music by Justin Peters. Logo by Nate Richards. Check out Nate's work on Instagram at Nate Richards Designs. Has has Santa seen the movie that we're talking about? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I guess we'll find out. Okay. You never know with people who come on this show <laughs> whether or not really they've don't. Seen, seen the movie yeah. or not. <laughs> It's, uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, that's now a question you have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought I'd ask. Has Santa seen Batman and Robin? Um, Batman Returns. You said Batman and Robin. Motherfuck! I watched Did the, you wrong watch movie. the wrong movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Batman and Robin. Batman Returns. Yes. Oh, it's on the calendar. Uh, it's what's listed. <laughs> sorry, guys. Well, let's talk about this on the show. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. This is perfect. I was watching it, and I was like, you know, there's, like, not a lot of this is Christmas-themed. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? All right, well, uh, we'll talk about it on the show. This will be fun with the trivia for Batman and Robin. Oh, yeah. We'll see how this goes.